In our previous presentation, we understood the significance of algorithms. We know what is the importance of good algorithms over bad algorithms. We understood the difference between a good algorithm and a bad algorithm in the last lecture. Now, in this lecture, we will understand the difference between decidable and undecidable problems. Let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics. The first topic of this lecture is decidable problems. The second topic is undecidable problems. And the third topic is polynomial versus exponential time. Let's understand decidable problems first. So, what is a decidable problem? A decidable problem is a problem for which efficient algorithm exists. So, the problem for which efficient algorithm exists is called the decidable problem. What is the meaning of efficient algorithm? An efficient algorithm is an algorithm which takes polynomial time or less than the polynomial time to execute. So, it will not take more than the polynomial time. Either it will take polynomial time or less than the polynomial time to execute. Now, what is the meaning of polynomial time? Polynomial time means time is a function of a polynomial. Now, what is the meaning of a polynomial? A polynomial is a mathematical expression consisting of variables and coefficients combined through addition, subtraction and multiplication where variables are raised to non-negative integer exponents. For example, n square plus 2n plus 1 is a polynomial. An algorithm which takes polynomial time has this property that as the size of the input increases, the time taken by that algorithm will not increase drastically or dramatically. This means the change in time is not that drastic as compared to the change in size of the input. So, if an algorithm takes polynomial time or less than the polynomial time, then that algorithm is called an efficient algorithm. The problem which it solves is known as the decidable problem. This means we can decide what's going to be the output within a limited amount of time frame which we can bear. In the last lecture, we discussed what are good and bad algorithms. Now, do you think that the good algorithm is efficient algorithm and bad algorithm is inefficient algorithm? If you remember, the good algorithm was taking 70 nanoseconds and the bad algorithm was taking nearly 8 hours. Now, if you ask me, was the bad algorithm that bad? I would say no. 8 hours is still a bearable time. And this time is actually a polynomial time, which as per the definition, makes it an efficient algorithm. So, both the algorithms, good and bad, in the previous lecture, are efficient algorithms. So, in conclusion, we can say that not all bad algorithms are inefficient and all good algorithms are efficient. But generally, you will find bad algorithms are inefficient. We will learn what are the different time functions and how to determine whether a specific algorithm takes polynomial time or any other time. This will be discussed in the later lectures. For now, just understand this, that if an algorithm executes in polynomial time or less than the polynomial time, then that algorithm is considered efficient. And the problem for which efficient algorithm exists is called the decidable problem. To summarize, this is how we can visualize an efficient algorithm. This algorithm is an efficient algorithm and the problem it solves is a decidable problem. To this algorithm, we can pass a finite input and it terminates in polynomial time or less than the polynomial time. So, now we know what is a decidable problem. Let's move to the next topic where we will discuss what are undecidable problems. An undecidable problem is a problem for which no efficient algorithm exists. This means there are only inefficient algorithms to solve these type of problems. 
वॉट इज एन इन एफिशियंट आलगुर्दम एन इन एफिशियंट आलगुर्दम इज एन आलगुर्दम विच टेक्स एक्सपोनेंशियल टाइम टू एग्जीक्यूट नाउ वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एक्सपोनेंशियल टाइम एक्सपोनेंशियल टाइम इज अ फंक्शन दैट ग्रोज एक्सपोनेंशियली विद द साइज ऑफ द इनपुट एंड वी ऑल नो एक्सपोनेंशियल रेफर्स टू अ मैथमेटिकल फंक्शन इन विच अ कॉन्स्टेंट बेस हैज अ वेरिएबल पावर फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू टू द पार एन थ्री टू द पार एन एटसेट्रा आर ऑल एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शंस इफ एन एलगोरिदम टेक्स एक्सपोनेंशियल टाइम टू एग्जीक्यूट then it has this property that as the size of the input increases the time taken by that algorithm increases drastically the change is so drastic that we humans cannot bear even for smaller size inputs it might be possible that for just input size of 10 it may take years to execute so clearly these type of algorithms are unbearable and hence the problems they solve are undecidable because we cannot decide the outcome within a specific time frame which we humans can bear hence these type of problems are called undecidable problems this is how you can visualize an inefficient algorithm the problem for which no efficient algorithm exists is called undecidable to this algorithm we can pass a finite input maybe 10 20 or 100 and it terminates in exponential time the time which we humans cannot bear so clearly we understood what is the difference between a decidable problem and an undecidable problem a decidable problem is a problem for which an efficient algorithm exists at least one efficient algorithm an undecidable problem on the other hand is a problem for which no efficient algorithm exists we also understood what is the difference between an efficient algorithm and an inefficient algorithm an efficient algorithm takes polynomial time or less than the polynomial time to execute on the other hand an inefficient algorithm takes exponential time to execute now we know these two topics very clearly Let's move to the next topic where we will discuss the example plots of polynomial and exponential times. This is how we can visualize polynomial time and exponential time. In this graph the size of the input is represented here it is represented by n and the time is the function of n this means it is dependent on the size of the input. so as the size of the input increases this graph represents the change in time let's observe this green line this represents polynomial time as the size of the input increases the change in time is not that drastic or dramatic this is bearable but on the other hand if we observe the exponential time graph as the size of the input increases the change in time is drastic and this is unbearable because even for smaller size inputs the time taken is so large so with this graph i hope it is clear what is the difference between polynomial and exponential time and this means we are done with this topic also and we are done with all the topics of this lecture In the next lecture we will discuss the nature of undecidable problems. We will consider an example through which we will visualize why undecidable problems are called undecidable. So thank you for watching this lecture. I will see you in the next one.